All right, I found that the, the, the quotes on, um, on purpose. So he, here it is, uh, you know, explicitly. The principle of purpose means conscious goal directedness in every aspect of one's existence where choice applies, right? The man of purpose defines explicitly his abstract values and then in every area the specific objects to seek and gain by means of which to gain them. Right? I think that was uh, the quote I, I had before. He is the person with a passionate ambition for values. I love this quote, right? So the, the man of purpose, right? The man of purpose is a person with a passionate ambition for values. He knows what he loves. He knows what he wants. He knows what he wants to act, to gain, or keep. He cherishes it. It's a man who wants every moment and step in his life to count in their service. There's no downtime. There's something to be gained. There's a purpose to every activity. Now, again, relaxation, there's a purpose for relaxation. So I'm not saying you have to work you know, all the time. Ooh, wow, I'm making faces on Facebook Live. That's quite, quite entertaining. You guys are missing, missing out. Um, the, you know, the process of pursuing values is itself a value. That is, getting yourself into that process of thinking in that way, of going after your values, identifying them, knowing what you love, having a high key, what's more important, what's less important, what are you going after now, what are you going after later, and watching those values evolve as you evolve, as you grow up, as you mature, as your context of knowledge changes. Man, that is so much fun. And that, that means a dynamic, exciting career. And this is, this is the thing about productiveness. It's not just about doing work, right? It's about having a purpose, which means having a career because there is no realm of human activity where one can apply purpose. One can strive towards purpose more than in one's career. It is integrates so many of one's values. It integrates so much of one's life. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier. It's not an accident that we spend most of our time at work not with our family, not watching television, not relaxing on the beach, at work. Even when we're billionaires, we spend most of our time at work. Why? Because it is the, it is the activity that integrates most of our values that we're striving towards. And the most important value, reason, using our minds, challenging ourselves in the realm of thinking. That's the most important thing. And that's where one's career, one's work, if it's good work, if it's the right work, if it's challenging work, that's where one can really do it. And that's why one, that's why career is so, so fundamentally important to anybody who values his own life. And this relates again, so this is the kind of the spiritual side of the, of the, this is the mind side of, of the, of this issue of productiveness, right? Productiveness is, First of all, material in the sense that I need, I need them, and, and I need to produce the things in order to, so I can survive, so I can live, so I can thrive, so I can be successful, so I can ha buy a home, so I can go to opera, so I can buy beautiful paintings, so I can do all those things. But it's more than that, right? It's what sustains us spiritually. It's what sustains one emotionally. It's what sustains one's life. It's what makes life interesting and fun. I mean, imagine not having somewhere where you can be challenged every day, where you can push the envelope, where you can be creative, where you could do things in a new way, potentially every day. But that's what work should be. It should be challenging. It should be exciting. It should be pushing you, challenging you, and challenging you in a very particular way for the most part. And that is mentally Challenging your mind. Now, granted, if you're an athlete, uh, you're challenging your body primarily. But even there, think about what it takes to be a great athlete today. The discipline. The discipline of mind. And also the science, the, all the, the science that goes into, in a sense, producing a great athlete today. It, it, it's not a static thing. And you can't be an athlete. I mean, if you look at the great athletes, 
they were almost all smart people and people who take their life seriously and people who apply their mind to figuring out how to be the best athlete best athlete in the world, how to structure their lives in a way to be the best athlete in the world, and how to, you know, overcome temptations and, 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 and really pursue values and stick with those values and be committed to those values. I mean, it's admirable when I see somebody like, you know, Phelps and, and what, he ha what he went through in order to become the greatest swimmer in human history. I mean, people talk about that as a sacrifice. That's bizarre. That was his highest value, his career, his central purpose in life and it's important to have a central purpose in life because if you have a central purpose in life then all your other purposes you can evaluate them based on how they fit into that central purpose so you can have at the end of the day one hierarchy of values instead of competing hierarchies of values so that all you do in life drives towards one direction and that central purpose in life is a career it's hard to imagine a different one. Now, granted, once you retire, once you get old to a certain age, or when you want to do things a little differently, then you have to find a different central purpose. But in a sense, whatever that new central purpose, that hobby or whatever, becomes the equivalent to career. And raising kids for a mother can be a central purpose. Right? You know, managing a household, raising kids, that can be a career. But it needs to be taken seriously just like any career should to be taken seriously. And then it has to be the integrating factor that integrates all your values towards one purpose. And this is what keeps us spiritually going, spiritually alive, spiritually engaged, spiritually challenged. In other words, it's what challenges our mind, is having a career, having a purpose, a cons constant purpose. Now, the purpose can change. The career can change. I mean, serial entrepreneurs, right? They, they changed the company. I've had, I don't know, five careers in my life. And one has to accept that when the, not everybody knows exactly what they want to be in life. You, you, you know, a lot of people, it's not like how it work. I didn't know what I wanted to be in life. I, I didn't really, you know, find what I really wanted to be in life until I was, I don't know, 40. But every time I looked, every time I engaged in some activity, I don't know, civil engineer or or a student, or a, a, a teacher, a professor, that became my central purpose. Now, I always dabbled in other things, and I think I always dabbled in other things, because something in me always knew that that was not enough. That whatever it was, being an engineer, or being a student, or being a, uh, even a teacher, was not enough for me, a finance professor. So I always had other stuff going on, until I found what I really am passionate about, which is this, right? And it evolves, right? So, so it's not like you wake up one morning when you're 18, you know exactly what you want to do, and then everything in life is going to figure that out, and then you die at 95, having fulfilled exactly that which you woke up at 18 knowing what to do. That's not how life works for most of us. Right? You know, some people it does. They are the how it works. You know exactly what they want to be. And everything is driven towards that, and they succeed in that, and they continue to succeed in that because, and it's always challenging because there are always new challenges to engage in. And, and, but that's not everybody. Sometimes you have to try different things. It takes time to find a career often. But every time you try, you put everything you have into it. You take it seriously. And in many respects, the virtual productiveness is about taking your life seriously, taking reason, purpose, self-esteem seriously, taking the fact that you have values seriously, and then acting in order to attain those values. And that's, you know, you, you can't attain values unless you're being productive, unless you're creating something. And again, that's true true at every, every, every single level.